Well, Fox 4 Morning News anchor Lisa Greenberg is live at Lumiere Cosmetic Vein Center in Cape Coral this morning, and she's learning about, I guess we could call it, some interesting ways to take better care of our health, Lisa. Very true, Chris. That's the perfect way to describe it. As you said, I'm at Lumiere Cosmetic Vein Center here in Cape Coral. And today in Your Healthy Family, we're going to be focusing on recovery methods. I know you're probably thinking when we're talking about massages, stretching, ice baths here that we have set up behind me, you're thinking of how this helps your muscles recover, how it helps your muscles feel better after rigorous activity or a tough workout. But here's the thing. These types of recovery tools also help with your vein health. And here's why. When it comes to blood flow through your body. For optimal perfusion, you have to have a balance of blood flow in and blood flow out. And Dr. Joseph Cipriano with Lumiere Cosmetic Vein Center says arteries bring in good blood filled with nutrients and oxygen and veins remove the bad blood filled with waste. He says to think of it like this. Arteries are, I make it akin to a delivery, uh, delivery truck around the holidays, bringing cookies and presents to the house. But then the veins are the trash, the trash collectors. They're bringing the trash off the street. So that way the cookies and the presents and everything can get to the houses and delivered. Without the removal of the waste, obviously it makes it much more difficult for the good blood to come in. So there has to be a circuit. And he says recovery methods like stretching, massages, and ice baths help that process move along more efficiently. Anything that helps with that blood return. So when you get a massage, think about what you're enabling with doing that massage. You're actually helping push that fluid back up. Massage can help you with recovery of that fluid, removal of that fluid out of that tissue. Of all the parts of your body, it's most difficult for your blood to travel from your lower legs and feet back up to your heart. Dr. Cipriano says with leg lifts and stretches, you can help your body with that blood flow. One example, Try laying on your back, stretching, and holding one leg up in the air at a time. Stretching techniques. You can do a lot on your own, but then with an active assistant that actually can help you stretch, you can actually get to another level of what your stretch can accomplish. Any and all major athletes then embrace these activities that help with recovery after these exercises and activities. It helps with their performance and also helps prevent injury. The same thing here with these ice baths, you know, filling it up with a lot of ice. It's frigid, it's cold, but this is something you can do right at home using your own bathtub. If you don't have one of these giant Rubbermaid tubs, just grabbing a few bags of ice, dumping it into your tub, filling it up with water, going in. We're gonna talk more about how that helps your veins recover, why it's so good for your health, coming up on Fox 4 Morning News at eight. And Chris, I do need someone to kind of get into the ice bath for me so we can demonstrate how this works, all the benefits. I'm a little busy here, so I was thinking maybe <laughs> you'd want to give it a try. I'm not doing anything right now, so uh, I'll do it, Lisa. But first I need to ask you, how cold is that water? Like, to, for it to make a difference, how cold does it have to be? So we're talking like 50 to 60 degrees here when we're talking about just how cold the ice bath gets. So it's definitely a situation where it's not very comfortable, especially for folks like us that live here in Florida. But here's the thing. This is especially important and especially beneficial for people who do live here in Florida because of our climate. I'll talk more about that as well coming up here later on Fox 4 Morning News.